Okay, today we're going to be learning how to calculate the slope of a line. So here's the key idea from your textbook. The slope is defined as the ratio of the change in y to the change in x between any two points on the line. So you can see several different um, graphics. To the right, um, we have the green line, and each point is labeled with a subscript of one or two so that we can keep them straight. Okay, so point one would have the markings x1, y1, and point two, x2, y2. When you talk about the change in y, we're talking about the rise of the line, right? That's the vertical axis y and the change y2 minus y1. When we're talking about the change in x, it's referred to as the run. It is the left to right, to right the horizontal along the x-axis, so it is x2 minus x1. So calculating slope, m, of a line, it's the rise over the run, change in y over change in x, and here's the formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we've got two pictures here also of the positive slope, which goes up and to the right, and negative slope goes down and to the left. So we're going to find the slope in example one. So I see two ordered pairs, and I'm just going to call them, um, you know, the two points. So the first point would be negative two, three, and the second point would be three, two. So change in y over change in x is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We could show our work. So 2 minus 3 over 3 minus the negative 2. This would be equal to 2 minus 3 is a negative 1. And 3 minus a negative 2 would be 3 plus 2 or 5. So m slope would be equal to a negative 1 over 5. Let's find another one. Again, we have two points, negative 4, negative 1, and 2, 1. So change in y over change in x would be y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So 1 minus a negative 1 would be like 1 plus 1. 2 minus a negative 4 would be like 2 plus 4. And we can simplify 1 over 3. One more. Doesn't matter which order we put the points in, so I'll just list them. Okay, again, calculating change in y over change in x. Negative four minus one over a negative five minus a negative three. Negative 4 minus 1 is a negative 5. Negative 5 minus a negative 3 is like negative 5 plus 3, or negative 2. Remember that a negative divided by a negative is a positive, so the negative signs go away. 5 over 2 becomes the slope. So remember, that's calculating the change in y over the change in x. Sometimes we're just given ordered pairs and we calculate the slope. So the change in y over the change in x would be negative 2 minus negative 2 over 7 minus 1. Negative 2 minus a negative is negative 2 plus 2 or 0 over 6. 
which gives us a slope of 0 because anything 0 divided by anything is automatically 0. And this is the slope of a horizontal line. Okay, so the slope of a horizontal line has a slope of 0. Given another ordered pair, change in y over the change in x, negative 5 minus negative 3 over negative 3 minus negative 3. A negative 5 minus a negative 3 is negative 2. Negative 3 minus a negative 3 is negative 3 plus 3 or 0. Know that we cannot divide by 0 in mathematics. So that is undefined. And that is the slope of a vertical line. It is undefined because we cannot divide by 0. If you're given a table, you are given, in this case, four x and y coordinates. So you could pick any two and be able to calculate the slope. So remember, we're still change in y over change in x. So I'm going to pick two points. If I pick the first two, right here and right here, I could list them as 1, 2, and 3, 5. So 5 minus 2 over 3 minus 1 would give us 3 over 2 for our slope. And it could have, would have been the same um, had you picked any other points.